We'd like to show you a priority training for your rear delts. Now, what we mean by priority training, sometimes we have parts of, our, of a muscle group that's a little weaker than the other. In this case, rear delts tend to be a little bit more of a struggle than the uh, front delts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna priority, prioritize it by putting our rear delt first in the exercise when we're at our strongest. That way we don't sacrifice form, we're a little bit stronger, we can use a little bit heavier weights. Try to get that weak body part to match up with that strong body part. So Victoria, let's have a seat here. Always adjust your seat. Make sure that your seat brings your shoulders even with the handles. Make sure your chest stays flat against this pad. Do not arch that back. When you're pulling back, you're pulling back in a semicircle motion. And again, a slight bend to the elbows. Important, notice her range of motion. She's going back parallel to the to her shoulders and also notice her tempo, her speed. She's not throwing the weights back. It's a controlled range of motion. So she's coming back and going forward at just about the same speed. By doing that, you tend to eliminate cheat movements. What will cheat movements do? Cheat movements recruits other assisting muscle groups, so we take the focus off the rear delt. We're trying to focus right across the rear delt tie-ins. Five, excellent. Four, hold that squeeze. Three, there you go. Two, and one more. Perfect. Yahoo. Now, you can perform this exercise anywhere from three to four sets. You want to rest anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds between each set. And when you're doing your exercises, again, make sure that you, you prioritize and put it at the beginning so that you can get that added value of being a little bit stronger and, and you know, being a little bit more focused at the beginning portion of that motion. Now we're gonna go right from this exercise right into our second exercise, which is an incline bench rear delt movement. And we're gonna use dumbbells. Notice we've, we've gone from an independent machine to another independent exercise. The reason I like to do independence, one side has to work as hard as the other. So if you've got a weak side or a dominant side, that dominant side can't help that weak side. So we wanna stay independent just like this. Uh, let's grab our dumbbells. We're gonna lie face down on the bench. And again, your position is keeping your chin right at about the top end of the bench. Make sure that you keep your back nice and straight. Dumbbells hang straight down to the side. We're going to come straight out. And again, she's going parallel across with the shoulders. Notice she's not throwing her weights up. She's squeezing the weights up. And she's not dropping the weights at the top end. She's slowly lowering it. So the count is about a second up and a second down. You want to try to hold the pause at the top as best you can. Of course, holding that pause gets to be a little difficult sometimes because when you get into the second exercise, your body starts to fatigue a little bit. So again, make sure you keep that chest nice and flat. She's keeping her chin up. When you're doing any kind of rear delt exercises, be careful not to tuck your chin down. You recruit the trap muscles. We don't want big traps. Four more. Three, two, and one. And excellent. And again, rest between sets somewhere between 30 and 60 seconds. Amount of sets that she could do, anywhere from three to four sets, depending upon your skill set. And your rep ranges, depending upon the strength on the exercise, we like to keep our rep ranges between eight and 15. If we're trying to stimulate a little bit more lean muscle because that, that muscle needs a little bit more priority, then we'll keep those reps a little lower, eight to 10. We can go a little bit lighter if what we're trying to do is more of a conditioning aspect.